In this video, we are going to talk about moon through the sign of Leo through the nakshatra of Magha, Purva Falguni, Uttara Falguni and the Padas and more. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Brahmanic Astrology channel. I am your host Prasad Mahajani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You will be getting Vedic Astrological videos just like this one. These videos will help you learn Vedic Astrology step by step. Moon into the sign of Leo. What is Moon? Moon is the planet which is the celestial queen. Moon is the planet of sensitivity. Moon is the planet of mind, the manas. It is the planet of desirous nature, about the emotions, about the fluctuation, nurturing, mother and you know, privacy, emotions, feelings, depth and all these things can be seen with moon. We have made a separate video with the moon. I'll put a link into the description section. Next is the sign of Leo. The sign of Leo is ruled by sun. So it has all the significations of sun. So these people are well aware of their self. They have great self esteem. These people have an ability to understand themselves more. They have their own light. Okay, the sign of Leo, which is ruled by sun, is the significator. Sun is the significator of the self, the soul. Sun is stable, reliable and loyal. So these people, the Leo people have the uh, tendency to be loyal in relationships. Okay, the sign of Leo is one of the fixed signs. What is the fixed sign? Fixed signs are the signs which are as the name suggests, fixed in nature and these are the signs right after the Chara signs. Chara signs are 1, 4, 7, 10. The fixed signs are 2, 5, 8 and 11. And right after the movement of a Chara Rashi, there is a fixed Rashi. After the first movement of Aries, there is fixed Rashi of uh, Taurus. After fourth, there is fifth Rashi of Leo. After the seventh Rashi of Libra, there is eighth Rashi of Scorpio and after the 10th Rashi of Capricorn there is 11th Rashi of the Aquarius okay so these these uh, Rashi stabilizes things initiated into the Chara signs fire element is creative force the life itself is created with fire if you look at the horoscope the Aries sign the first sign the life has been created with fire so these people have a great strength these people have great drive for the creative forces these people like to create to produce okay and these people have higher ideals and they are disciplined they are well directed the sign of leo has three nakshatras magha purva falguni and uttara falguni in magha nakshatra we have four padas into the sign of leo the first pada is ruled by Aries. The next pada is ruled by Taurus, where moon gets exalted. Now moon is into the sign of Leo and is into the pada of the Taurus, which makes it exalted in D9. Next is the Gemini Navamsha. The third Navamsha, the third pada of the Magha nakshatra goes into the Gemini Navamsha. Here, moon loves to be into this playful sign of Gemini. Here, uh, moon will, you know, manifest all its creative forces through the Mercurian realms. Ma moon does great job here. The next is the fourth pada of the Magha nakshatra goes into the Cancer sign or Cancer Navamsha. Here, Moon goes into its own sign and does great job. It will emanate, it will hold and you know reflect all the Cancerian uh, characteristics of motherly love, of uh, privacy, of nurturing and nourishment. All these things can be seen in this moon. Next, Purva Falguni Nakshatra. First pada of Purva Falguni Nakshatra goes into the sign of Leo. It becomes Vargottam Navamsha. Here, 
moon does great job as it is into the same element same sign in d1 and d9 so all the emphasis of the leo and sun is now confirmed as we look for this moon into the d9 chart next is the sign of virgo the next pada of the purva falguni goes into the um, virgo sign here here moon does all the analytical things and is great with understanding more information is able to process more information and the patterns and the analytical skills are also seen with this moon the next pada of the purva falguni nakshatra goes into the libra navamsha and this is the pushkar navamsha this is ruled by venus and here moon gets into the airy sign ruled by venus which makes it social and inclined towards interaction with larger group of people the other people next the fourth pada into the purva falguni nakshatra goes into the sign of scorpio here moon gets into the debilitated sign of scorpio in d9 chart so now it is moon is into the sign of leo and it's into the sign of scorpio so these are into the fixed sign but now the intensity of scorpio can also be experienced and at times these people might feel uh, jealousy when they are operating at the lower level next nakshatra is uttara falguni nakshatra uttara falguni nakshatra has only one pada into the sign of leo now moon is going into the sign of leo and is into the nakshatra of uh, Pu uh, uttara falguni and in the first pada it goes into the sagittarius navamsha which is ruled by jupiter which is a great friend of moon here moon is uh, able to grasp all the ninth house or sagittarian characteristics of higher ideals chasing something bigger than the life hope and its fortune wealth all these things can be seen with moon into the first pada of uttara falguni this nakshatra is also about the commitment so moon is the, um, involved into any kind of commitment when it is into the sign of when it is into this pada now what happens when moon comes into the sign of leo the planet of emotion comes into the sign of authority now these people have strong mind these people have the strength of the mind to take action to be like king and you know it's like union of queen and king the celestial queen is into the sign of celestial king okay so it operates at its highest level and is great with the self esteem and all the sun significations next the planet of emotions comes into the sign which is in fixed in nature so these people are loyal these people have steadfast uh, steadfast nature in relationship and these people tend to stay with the partner longer next the planet of fluctuation goes into the sign which is ruled by which is fixed in nature and which is all about the stability now the planet of fluctuation goes into the sign of stability so here these people might have fluctuating mind okay next the planet which is the feminine planet goes into the male sign now here moon feels uncomfortable to express and embrace the feminine side of the planet moon the planet of mind goes into the sign which is all about the soul the planet of mind goes into the sign of soul now these people are well aware of their soul they are well aware of their self they have a higher level of self consciousness the planet of emotion comes into the sign of independence so now these people are quite independent 
so the very nature of moon to form the relationship now moon doesn't feel comfortable here for this signification okay so yes this was moon into the sign of leo as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys if you want to know more about vedic astrology these two videos on your screen just go and watch them these videos will help you to dive deep into vedic astrology sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibes see you in the next videos love and peace